Okay, I gave a kingdom title away for the first time ever. Talk about this later. Yeah, that has the least negative effects. There's not a lot of time to read a lot of this stuff. And that brings me down to 76 out of 112. First time for everything. Yeah, yeah. It's just these places, there's a lot of places out here where I get pretty poor vassal contracts just to get them to join me. So it's just like if I give the kingdom to somebody that's my religion and, you know, it all just works out pretty well, then it's actually pretty beneficial to me because then I don't have to worry about micromanaging that with tyranny and whatnot. Ooh, 93% chance to get a perk. Someone's like insulting me or something. Well, I got the perk. Nice. Now we could do heart of the family or befriend. Let's do befriend because we can get confidants. That would be pretty great. God, there are so many things popping up that can grant like XP or just lose stress and stuff like that. I'm just going to lose. I don't want to make rivals or anything here. It's fine. One annoying thing is the king of Pannonia has a lot of the kingdom of Moravia. So that's unfortunate. I have two chances to convert someone over here. I'll try. What was this? Lose stress. Uh, guess with traits in common with you gain opinion of you. Yeah, it's generally a pretty good thing. Oh, these wedding nights are crazy. Uh, ooh, refurbishing will not pay for your eternal salvation. Three hundred money to convert him. I don't need to. I don't need to min max that. So no, I will not pay for your eternal salvation. I don't like taking sides. I don't care if I gain XP. We could try to convert this other guy. Sixty-eight percent. Let's see. Let's demand he convert. If I could give the kingdom of Moldavia away to one of them, that would be great. There is also the kingdom of Wallachia that I could give out over here. Oh God, the person that got married, the guy, he died during the festivities. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, this guy converted to Catholicism. So I'm gonna grant him the kingdom. And I find it of Moldavia. Do I have the kingdom of Moldavia? I do, it's under the empire of Carpathia. I'm now also giving away the Kingdom of Moldavia. I don't have a lot of vassals there or anything. It's just that it's simple enough because I can find someone to convert to Catholicism and then make everything else under it someone else's problem. I have the Empire of Carpathia anyway. Although I don't know how long that will exist as a title because most of it is converting to my primary title. And another perk, Confidants, less stress gain. Yes, please. Now, Wallachia, probably going to hand out the Kingdom of Wallachia as well. Especially now that my vassals just can't fight each other. It just, it seems like a good idea. Orthodox, Orthodox. Mm, that's two problems. You have a good contract. You do not have a good contract. 42% uh, only. 35% only. Well, we'll give it a shot on this guy. This guy would be better. I'll hold on to it if I don't have anyone really good to grant it to. I mean, I could just pick a random fucking count. That's an option. Oh, he did it. He converted me, or he converted to Catholicism. So I can grant him, under the Empire of Carpathia, the Kingdom of Wallachia. There you go. It's not going to take a lot of vassals off the list. It's just going to get groups that are not that good oh were you my spy master i think he was spy master we need a, just a really good one 22 best one we have so yeah he owns the kingdom of wallachia now i'm just getting these ones that are less efficient off my hands hopefully this guy loses some of what he has because he owns a chunk of these other kingdoms which makes him disproportionately powerful i am not taking a three percent chance to die in a paradox game i'll take a 35 percent chance that someone randomly gets wounded out of five that seems safer thank you i'm still looking like maybe there's more efficient ways to split out my kingdom as well up here is weird because We'll never have the Kingdom of Germania because he is the Kingdom of Germania. So, and this is where West Franconia is, and she's she's got a lot of split out territory. And she doesn't have the best vassal contract. But she'd be better as, a, like, a king instead of a duke or under a king or something, even if she takes it over one way or another. So handing out something over here could be potentially good if I could give that less efficient stuff out as well. I also never replaced my master of the horse. We can do that. We got a couple of guys 
that are excellent at the job. This guy doesn't have any other jobs, so he can go ahead and be the master of the horse. Cut bearer, I don't think we have. Are we still on our way home? We're so, yeah, we're still not home yet, so we can still cannot do anything. Uh, cut bearer. My son being a cut bearer is both great and terrible. What the fuck? Plotting to kill me is Duke Lenfranco. Well, I found out who wants to kill me. It's a Duke. Duke Lenfranco. He's ending his scheme now that I've figured it out. Oh, God. What the hell? Look around. Um, my court physician. She's not behind me. Faint whistling of wind. She will be in our prayers. She dies. Or we will try to attempt a mountain rescue. Um, she's just a court physician. She's the head of her house. Oh, well, she's about to die. Slav dynasty? Yeah, she's dead. She will be in our prayers. Every entourage member's happy because I just let her die. Okay, no longer my... Well, now, uh, good thing I'm replacing because I need a new court physician now. Oy vey. Court physician. Who can be a good court physician? I don't trust any of these guys, really. Okay, maybe this one of Wessex. Bold planner. He loves me. She loves me. Average. I like this one. Bold planner. Yeah. Okay, I'll assign you. There you go. I was looking at other things like uh, cup bearer. My heir would be a great cup bearer. He could kill me too, probably. But he's the best one for the job. I don't know what makes him so excellent. Diplomacy skill and trusting. Yeah. He could also die from this, maybe. I don't know. I could also give this job to one of my daughters. This could give him a wage to earn money, so... Make sure that no one's cup ever runs dry. Oh, no. Okay, he's just... He he pours cups. He doesn't taste test it. Okay, that's fine. I don't want him to, like, accidentally die. So he's perfect for that job. You know, unless he hates me, and then he'd be the opposite of perfect for that job. And artificers... Chance to become inspired again. This is the guy that did the other thing, right? Yeah. The regalia. He could be interesting to try again, but I don't know. It's a very small chance. Food taster. This is what I was thinking of. Covetous thinker. Somewhat rational and somewhat greedy. But he's good and he loves me and is my master of the horse. Ah, uh, okay. This is probably the most trustworthy person I've seen for this job ever. Food taster. Yeah, never touched by poison. None of these modify contracts make any sense for me. I can ask my head of faith for gold. He got money again real quick. And I can demand money from a child. We're going to do that. And from this other guy, we're going to do that. Lots of money flowing in, even without anything special like a grand tour. Demand some more money. Designate a teacher for my daughter. I don't even know at this point. There's so many daughters. I don't know who the fuck to give it to. I guess my court physician. I just, I have too many daughters. I have way too many fucking daughters right now. Why do we have over 20k combined? <laughs> oh, the child killer's dead. The, the, new, the new guy's really Ooh. weak. He's 14. And I'm about to be home. And I think my truce has expired. So I think... I'm going to have a real easy war for Syria here in a moment. Actually, I can already declare war even on my way home. Hold up. I could go to war with this right now. Holy war for a kingdom over Syria. I can go for Syria or Arabia, but Syria is what I want. Dude, the kingdom of Arabia would give me literally everything that is not Syria that they own. In like two wars, I could own most of this region. That's hysterical. Just conquer the Muslims, man. This is exactly what we're aiming for. Getting rid of the other religions. And I guess the other Christians at this point, too. If I'm going to be mending the schism, even the Coptics would be hostile. The All the other Christians. But this is a Catholic playthrough. So Yeah, Kingdom of Syria. Any Ashari can join, but they're not going to be able to do very much. I got plenty of piety. Let's declare that. All right. Let's get something set up over here. I'm not sure where. This is the capital of the Abbasids. Oh, the capital of the Abbasids is over here in Syria. It's over in Damascus. Well, if you conquer that, you almost have to war one. Yeah, yeah. It's, that would be a lot of stuff. 
I'm gonna put the rally point here where there's a bunch of supply. I'm gonna get rid of the old rally point. I'm gonna plop the holy order down. I'm gonna send the holy order out somewhere less important. Ah, uh, does that really have terrible supply? Uh, well, not the best. And I'm gonna raise my men at arms all right here, no matter what. The Grand Master went here. No, Grand Master. Can you lead your own troops? God damn it. Should have assigned him first. I don't know why he doesn't default to that. It's one of my own vassals. West Franconia, sure. There you go. And then you take care of your own stuff. Why is everybody else not available? Feasts, commanding other armies. I guess they're fighting. They're in wars. I am very successfully wrapping around the Mediterranean. It's pretty nice. I love how no matter his actual holdings, the fucking Pope is always just going to be one of my powerful vassals. And I like how I have dukes that are just notably more powerful than the new kings that I assigned. Uh -huh. And I can hold court. I hate doing this, but let's do it. Gesture first in line to approach Duke. Straighter posture than usual people of your realm. Joyous gathering. A feast in your name. I would gladly finance one. Grease to renege request for a favor. Withdraws their offer to pay. Or I accept they get a weak hook. Something more agreeable. Well, let's see if we pass that check. Yep, so they'll just host a feast in my name anyway. Uh, will that actually host a feast? I guess so, I don't know. There's a Diplo challenge here. There's another Diplo challenge here. Striking garb for a diplomacy buff for 10 years, or court grandeur Diplo lifestyle XP, or spend money and potentially get artifacts. I'd rather get the XP. That's what I'd rather get. I got the XP. And someone to become my ward? No, I'm gonna give the ward to someone else. All right, all that business is done. And there you go. So I guess someone might be hosting a feast for me soon. I don't know. Talk to a confidant, which I think is Victoria. Stress coping. Yeah, everyone else is not happy about that, but I'm sure Victoria is. A confidant is my first child, my first daughter. The men at arms are ready. They should be able to get right over there to Damascus pretty much immediately. I can take control of the army, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to put myself in, uh... I can decide what my best friend is, who that is, at the age of 49. I don't know who any of these motherfuckers are. I could choose to not play favorites and get Diplo lifestyle experience. Yeah, I'm going to just pick that one. Thanks. And we have now commoted... Promoted? Converted? Giza over to our culture. So if we go into the council, we can promote culture over in Jerusalem. That'll take a while, but it'll get done eventually. All right, we took the capital. Oh God, secret expose, extramarital affair. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, kingdom, locations, what are you up against? Did anybody else join? Yeah, these, these big guys to the east again, but they're so far away. Should be able to go down there, besiege something else with these guys now. They don't have anything to oppose me, really. This guy's armies are terrible. This guy has like a 2k stat to fight me with, and that's it. He's got the allies to the east, but they'll take forever to get here if they even do get here. The Abbasids are weaker than they've ever been. I think, to be honest, the only challenge that we face right now is the Mongol invasion. Yeah, there's a lot of big nations out there, but they don't really have a lot of actual troops to threaten us with 10k in uh novgorod that's nothing terrible but if we raise levies i mean yeah it can't challenge us 10k seems to be the highest number any one nation can raise against us probably the most threatening thing overall would be a jihad but as i continue to beat up the abbasids the potential for the ashari to mount any impressive jihad diminishes also as i go further into iberia because that's just less and less ashari and if you end up taking iceland eventually that's less ashari right there as well in a way we have sort of already won but unlike supreme ruler for example 
It's not like the game is breaking to the point where we just kind of have to be like, okay, well, we've technically won, so let's just stop because it's getting unbearable to play. Oh, the Habari actually arrived. Wow. That was quick. Those Eastern allies of theirs actually got here way quicker than I thought, but still, their total forces combined just like 3,500. My Crusaders could solo them. And I got a perk. And I have so many prisoners that I could potentially ransom. Uh, Heart of the Family. Heart of the Cards. Holy mother, that's a lot. Jesus Christ. Let's start with the ones that are like, I don't know. Who are you? You're just some random guy? Why are you worth so much? You oh god, that's a girl, I think? Oh, what is that? Ew. 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 This is comely? No, it's not. That's bullshit. Looks like a fucking... Uh, like a Frankenstein. All right, let's let's go try and fight these guys, beat them up, because we have to go through here anyway to get to something else that we'd want to go for. What the fuck is happening here? They're having some kind of little rebellion. It's not a really good time for that. We'll get the Crusaders to go defend Jerusalem or whatever. Look at this 40-year-old dwarf. I don't know how this can be comely. Pleasant to look at. That's some bullshit if I've ever seen bullshit before well we beat them up oh my god i took the caliph's uncle prisoner and combined with winning a battle i've already won this war that's hysterical enforced demands and he, he hates me the guy hates my guts now but i just took all of syria so that was hysteric dude the, the fucking child killer died at the perfect time I have so many titles I can create, usurp, and holy shit. And I, I can ransom off so many important dudes that it's kind of ridiculous. And I just got like 22 new things from having Syria. And apparently I have a new court artifact. And what a surprise. It's a fucking phantom notification. All right, I, the only thing I'm missing Stopping me from mending the Great Schism is the fact that I don't have the max religious rank. I'm almost there, but I could probably speed this up with a pilgrimage. I'm 49, so I have to get that underway. I'll hand things out first, and then I'll look at that. Okay, so, 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 Emir, Giant Emirate of Bahrain. Emirate of Bahrain? a whole fucking nation or something? No, it's just something within the Abbasid Empire. Well, he's quite valuable. I'm gonna ransom this guy, this little child for money, seems important. This child for money seems, imp well, not important, but... And ransom this guy for money. There's, the others will pop up again later, just... They're out of options. You can only propose one at a time. Kingdom of Syria, definitely creating that. And now we have all these duchies to hand out. Emirate of Damascus, Aleppo. What does Damascus have? You got anything special? No, surprisingly not. Nothing I can build, anyway. What about Antioch? No, nothing I can build. Whew. Okay, well, nothing really to keep then. I don't think there's anything else particularly special here. I just have to find motherfuckers to hand this stuff out to. I'm gonna just spend money usurping there you go and creating every single duchy that i can and handing them out oh this is the primary title aleppo so i can't do anything about that but we will create all these other titles and then get a bunch of new dukes i've handed out some kingdoms so we have that ability we're getting a lot of probably angry muslims i can invite this guy to my court but until he accepts i can't really hand anything out to him Romulus Safax, because he's just wandering. I need more males. Father of Count Romulus. And you don't own anything, you just have claims, you're at someone else's court? Count Romulus, where the, where the hell is this guy? Oh, Venice. Venice. Yeah. I have the Kingdom of Venice. The Kingdom of Venice isn't really anything I would ever need to hand out. I could, but I wouldn't need to. It's weird. I'm not even sure if I should hand that out. It might help them. Let's, let's see. Duke Remus owns this. So, in, Duke Remus owns a lot of stuff down here. Interesting. Oh, that's just the count then. That's literally just the account within there. 
Well, unless, you know, I have to invite him to my court to hand him anything. So, I just have all this stuff in the meantime. I'll invite him in case we need him, but... Uh, yeah, it's just so many of them are not in my court. I need them to be in my court. We have the son of a duke. That's something. Okay. Duchy of... Anything, really. Damascus. Just handing them out in duchies. I don't want to... I still want to spread things out into duchies. I'm just handing out kingdoms where it benefits me to not have to micromanage, like where I get a bunch of vassals to join me for free. So we'll hand out the Duchy of Damascus to this guy. He might just inherit something in Egypt too, but I don't care too much about that. Dukes will have stuff split until we get primogeniture anyway, and no one should get excessively powerful anyway. And that guy's son, he has a son, he has two sons. This one doesn't have anything yet. Duchy of Palmyra. They all have stuff that's just over in this region, though. The Duchy of Palmyra, you can go rule next to your dad. It's fine. Might get messy with inheritance, but it's fine. We don't have a lot of options. So I'm just taking what we have. There's another one we can invite to our court. He's interesting because he's possessed. Might just start having to hand things out to children, quite frankly. I could hand something to my bodyguard, but he's my bodyguard. I don't want to give anything to him. Because that means I could, like, lose him. Alright, here's an unlanded Romulus. He's the son of a owner of stuff, but it should be fine. Duchy of Edessa. Grant those titles away. There you go, it became my vassal. Nobody Romulus, my nephew. We have another nobody. That's funny. He's at someone else's court. Now he can go have his own duchy out here, ruling over some Muslims. Okay, it's going well. We're down to 15 out of 7. As a son of a count, I can get the uh, Duchy of Antioch, let's say. There's also someone that just needs to get like a bunch of counties, like this. Because that's going to be a duchy later. I could do it for this guy. Just give him four duchies or counties. And I'll give him stuff later. Because that's all going to fall into a different duchy that I just don't have yet. So there you go. He's figured out. Another one that I can invite. And I think I might be out of non-children. There's a 14-year-old. It's better than nothing. Duchy of Antioch for this 14-year-old. He's the daughter of my half-sister. That works. Oh, Hawa. Oh, that's funny. That's the Muslim that I took as a hostage that joined my dynasty. All right, you... Congratulations. Your, your kid's a landowner now. This is a nine-year-old, so maybe not the best idea, but... Uh, unless I wait, which I kind of don't want to, I'm just gonna have to grant this out to him. He's the son of a duke. I'm just kind of trying to centralize power in the nation in the hands of my guys. All right, I've assigned, like, everything to everyone except one thing I cannot usurp because some guy's at war and I can't take it from him yet. Daughter-in-law gave birth to a daughter. I don't see why I would ever name that, but... I can ransom off another kid as well. I can negotiate alliances with some of these kids, some of these dudes that I assigned. We have more ransoming that we can do. Even these amounts of money are very little. All these guys are arriving in my court. And now, Vassal numbers up to 80 out of 107. It went down at max. I wonder why. Regardless. It's all going pretty well. I, I guess handing out those kingdoms wasn't a terrible idea after all. Ransom off this. Trying to keep things under control. Anyway. Alright, I still need to do that pilgrimage though if I want to kind of max out. So, a pious pilgrimage. We've already been here. We've already been here, so I don't necessarily want to go there again. I think that's the only one that I've done. Did I go to Jerusalem as this guy? I did not. We own Jerusalem, so that wouldn't theoretically be terrible. Uh, it is quite dangerous. Because of county control, because it's being converted, we just took it over. So maybe it is pretty dangerous. You know, if you're picking a pilgrimage destination, I wouldn't personally suggest um, Jerusalem. <laughs> it doesn't look very good while the county control is very low. Yeah, I know. I'm looking to do a pilgrimage because I want to uh, get that mend the schism done so we can go after Christians more easily. 
I'm looking for somewhere that I haven't been before because I already went to the Vatican. Cologne would be the cheapest and closest. That works. Go through some mountains. We could hire a mountaineer. That's if we don't change the direction we're going. But that, that works. That's fine. So just bring that guy. We're going for reflection. No, we're going for altruism. That's why we're going. And we can bring more piety upon completion. Yeah, that's good. No cost to bring more. Or no, just to move slowly. I could pay extra to get more piety upon completion. Piety's good, I guess. Is it needed? No, but it ensures that we definitely become a religious icon. So 765 for that. This is half the money I get from the Pope every time I ask. We're going to get way more piety for this than I would spend. So let's do that. We'll start that as a pilgrimage. I was tempted to declare war there for a second, but uh, we don't even have that much of a debuff. But yeah, no, we'll just do the pilgrimage. We won't declare war yet. We can wait till we get back. All right, I'm going to Cologne. Do each of us own two holy sites? Yeah, each of us owns two holy sites. And then Alicia holds the other one. Nice. But I'm going to Cologne. Yeah, that's where I'm going. I'm taking a nice slow pilgrimage. I was tempted to declare another war because of how short that other war was, but no. I just disbanded everything, so I would have to wait to really pick it back up again anyhow. And I'm back up to 80 vassals, even after assigning those kingdoms. But those were pretty small kingdoms that didn't have a lot of, like, independent vassals. I have an interesting situation because you own the kingdom of Germany. Of Germania. I can't make a kingdom in that region for, like, the West Franconians and whatnot. So I have to, like, put them in another kingdom if I wanted to. Which I'm thinking of doing now with this guy, because look at him. He's the perfect guy. Yeah, our balls are a little bit, uh... Yeah, all over yeah the and sadly, you can't really do a whole lot about it. But I'm going to hand out the Kingdom of Sorbia. It's a very small kingdom to a duke there. And I'm just going to give him everything in Germania. <laughs> and handle it that way. All right, so we grant that to him. He's now a kingdom. And I can... But does he want anyone in specific up front? No, okay. Uh, grant him vassals. Namely... Oi. Pilgrimage more pious, 22% chance of becoming ill. No. No, sir. I'm going to grant you the Duke of West Franconia. That's a big thing to give, but I'm going to grant you that. Because it's always going to be based out of there. And then there's this stuff as well. So I'm going to just... You're going to become very powerful, sir. So you're going to get this as well. And then there's still a couple more. You're going to get this. You're going to get this. It's a small kingdom, so I feel like giving him this other stuff isn't too bad. So I'm just unloading everything in Germania onto him. But he also gets this stuff here because of that weird West Franconian vassal. So everything there is his problem now, not mine. I don't have to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. And if I look at vassals... Is he one of my most powerful ones now? Hilariously, he's not. No. That still doesn't even make him one of my most powerful. But I thought West Franconia was pretty powerful. I guess he just doesn't get enough from West Franconia. Well, that's... that's fine. Yeah.